Professor of Human-Robot Interaction at the University of Hertfordshire. He joins us from my hometown, Hatfield. Incredible. I've never interviewed anybody from Hatfield. You probably live just down the road from my family. Obviously, I'm talking to you from Istanbul. What do you think of this? Because personally, I'd always prefer to go and see a human being than take a picture of myself and load it onto some sort of program that's on my laptop. Yes, I think that uh, preference is, uh, is international and global. But the problem that we've had is that uh, we've had a population growth across the whole world and the proportion uh, growth to the healthcare system has not been there. And then we've had a changes in our aging population, uh, which again have put us into uh, reduced resources that we have. And then finally, we have been hit by a year of COVID-19 pandemic globally, which even stresses us more in our resources. So it becomes kind of apparent that even the most serious of our cases will go into a backlog and we can't receive medical help. So these type of technologies will then emerge to try to offer us at least a glance into the severity of our problems. So they come in because the need that was there for our population hasn't been met. Uh, so I understand their the presence and why, why they emerge. Everybody always talks about uh, possibly um, their privacy being invaded and about how big companies in, across a different range of sectors might be able to access information that is loaded onto a computer. For example, if I were to take a picture of my back and I had something that the computer were to diagnose as a melanoma, as some kind of skin cancer, what's to say that my car insurance company wouldn't be able to access that data and just sees the word cancer and thinks, hold on, this person might be having chemotherapy, they might be weak while they're driving, so let's increase his premium. Absolutely, and it's not just those uh, corporate uh, companies, it's also the third parties that get access to the data. So in a number of cases that you see coming up, uh, it's just not Amazon or, or Google that are the forefront. There are also companies that access this data without our consent. Uh, so uh, uh, from my perspective, it's really important that we work on those privacy aspects. We work on our legal guardianship of our data. So we know that we are in charge of our data, nobody else, and nobody should make money from our data and treat it as a commodity. Ideally, I like this consent to be there and given to us so we actually know where our data goes. How far are we going to get with uh, AI and medicine and the robots like you have behind you helping treat patients in healthcare? We are just at the beginning of the road. So we are looking at technology so that we can receive help when we need it. Uh, and there's a long way ahead of us, uh, primarily because some elements such as privacy and ethics are, are, are still on touch <laughs> uh, within the UK, European Union, yeah, and, and, and elsewhere. So we are working on all of these aspects. So what are the privacy laws that we need? Uh, what legal uh, laws do we need there? What protections can we offer our population against when machines go wrong, when they give us false predictions? and so on. So, so from those perspectives, we, we need a lot of hard work. But then there is a large opportunity there for us. So this technology that our AI public technology can help us. Uh, the ones that you see behind you, the idea uh, behind me is with the idea that uh, if I can extend my knowledge of how well I am, I may be able to protect myself for longer and live independently. So if I am not having enough water, the machine may tell me that I am not hydrating enough. If I am not having decent amount of food that I need to have, don't receive the, the nutrient that I need to have, the machine can tell me about it. Uh, or if I have, have a fall, then it's possible to detect that fall before it's too late, before I've had additional damages done to me due to bleeding or, or others. So sure. there are opportunities sure. for the machines to come to help. Farshid, really, really, really interesting to talk to you. And I keep looking outside your window to see if I can recognize the street where you live. <laughs> Take care. Thank you.